Hey, what's up, Zach? I'm eating some sunflower seeds right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Noah? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're on our way to a house tour. It's a little bit late. Uh, it's a Saturday house tour, but this is the time of the day that they want to do it, and we are available. So we're making it work, because we do what we can for our clients. That was so salesy. Here at Pixel Labs, we're here to serve you. <laughs> Every step of the way, from pre-production to production to post, we're here to tell your story and make it unique to you. We're not telling this to 30 people at once. We're telling it to 10 million at once. Because you are an individual to us. Wow. Love it. How's that? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I ain't in it for the money. I ain't in it for the fame. I ain't in it for the accolades. Trying to tell me what a vision of the riches and the women. I ain't waiting till I'm not today. Try to separate the crew, but the truth is it did it. Got the same vision, so you know we stay winning. Some of y'all chasing recognition. Not me. I do it for the love, yeah. Do you want me to actually go about what we're actually doing here? Sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> so it is Saturday. I'm making sure what day it actually is. Like the Something like that. We're on our way out to a house tour shoot. Uh, it's kind of a unique one we're doing on Saturday because it's what works best for everyone. Um, but more importantly, we're doing it in the evening because it is a big 10 acre lot uh, just outside of town. And they want to shoot it uh, a little bit more. Uh, lifestyle style. Um, we're gonna get some people doing some acting and horse riding and some different stuff like that. So just to add a little bit of extra flair to this house tour, we're going to be going through until about sunset when we can get some kind of twilight time photos of the house, which is gonna be really cool. Um, but besides that, uh, it'll be a, it, it's not gonna be a quick shoot, but it'll be a little bit longer than our normal ones, but it should be a pretty fun shoot and easy shoot to, to go through and capture a little bit new uh, perspective of house. So we're on our way back from this house tour shoot right now and the sun just uh, started to set and the sky looks amazing. So we decided to stop. We just have a little bit of battery left on the drone so we can't fly for very long but Tristan's on the drone getting some aerial shots. Uh, Noah's down here, you probably can't see him, he's down by the fence getting some photos with the R. And we're just going to get a couple things real quick because the sky doesn't always look like this and you can't tell the sky to look like this so when it happens you have to take advantage of it and uh, capture what you can. That's kind of sketch. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's just like all over the place. It's got its uh, quirks now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still fun though. Yeah. And a little less concerning when there's risk. I mean, it would have sucked for it to go into the lake or pond, but it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Yeah. It's not the magnitude, <laughs> too, so. Oh, that was fun. That was worth a stop. Yeah, for real. You didn't do any photos though, did you? I did a few. Oh, did you? You, I think, I can't remember. So, a while back in like March, I mentioned something about animating a head with mm -hmm. web and then using a webcam to track it. Yep. Is that possible? I know we were messing with motion tracking with like the Xbox camera and stuff like that. But if short we wanted story, just a basic. Yeah. Short story, I'd say yes. As far as, I mean, as far as like, do I think I can execute it? It would take a while, maybe. What do you uh, mean? Like, what, what well, part of it? What part well, of just because I'm I'm not sure exactly. Well, first off, the the modeling would be something to 
think about. And then um, as far as just the general like researching how to actually go about doing it, I think, um, or like, you know, executing it. I just don't know how gotcha. quite to do it. I, I think I have an idea about how you could do it, but I'm not sure if that is like the best way to do it. I'm sure if I, I mean, I'd have to research it more, but I'm sure that there's a better way to do it than like the idea that first pops into my mind. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. I'll talk to you later. Alright, see you later. See you. Bye. Bye. How's it going? <laughs> good, how are you, Zach? <laughs> not too bad. Well, I appreciate you taking a bit of time today, and I will I'll keep no. it quick, so we're not... <laughs> no, no, you're good, so... Um, and thank you for mentioning the vlog and your email. I did not know you guys did that, and I... So I talked to Lori this morning. Lori's my mentor, yep. and we do Monday morning calls. <laughs> and so I was talking about... Uh, talking to you today, and then she mentioned... I, I mentioned the vlog and then she mentioned that she keeps up she watches them she keeps up with you guys obviously follows you on instagram and she told me also to go watch them so i did and i was watching the most recent one i think the madison one Madison, wisconsin uh, or... it, it's one of, it's one of the more recent ones it's okay yeah, yeah. i kind of want to hear like the backstory of the vlogs and kind of why that started because i don't i don't feel that i ever see businesses you know kind of vlog what they do so that's definitely unique and then two was it Josh that you're with? Is that your coworker's name or employee's uh, name? That was um, Tristan. And the, Tristan, okay. When he was yep. talking about just kind of like, you know, something that didn't go right that day or just kind of, you know, being honest with these things were going on and it, you know, hindered us a little bit, whatever. Just having that honesty, I thought was super cool. So can you tell me a little bit, just personal interest, how that vlog started? Because you guys, it's been going on for a while. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, I think 2000. Six, like late 2016 I think is when we started it okay. and it was really sporadic at the beginning of it like we had no idea what we were doing and we really didn't even have the time to be doing it but we were just like squeezing it in we it would be like the day before we were supposed to release one and we would be like oh crap and we would go and just like make a tutorial or like talk to the camera for three minutes and just call it good with like no purpose or direction at all but then like four months after we started it, we had an intern start and uh, he was kind of interested in the idea of vlogging. And in the past, we had always had our interns work with a client, but with the vlog, we wondered if it would be a good way for interns to get way more experience in the shooting and editing process than sure. just working with one client. And so we offered it as, like we said, you can either do this or you can do this. Which one do you want to do? And he's like, I want to do the vlog. And we're like, okay, cool. And he kind of, we call him the godfather of our vlog. He is Jared Frost. If you look at some of the really early ones, uh, spring of 2017, he's kind of the one that produced and kind of pioneered how we did the vlog. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it just kind of evolved over the course of time with different interns coming in with different editing and shooting styles different graphic styles stuff like that and we would we had always kind of let it be up to the intern how it was designed mm -hmm. but ultimately we got to a point recently in the last six months or so where we're like we really need to have an actual purpose to this like if we're gonna put all this time and effort into it we need to make sure that it's achieving business goals that we're looking for and it's uh, getting the engagement that we're looking for and stuff like that. So during COVID, we actually like kind of took a step back and we're like, all right, this is what the structure is going to be. And this is what the look is going to be. Now we need an intern to come in with their shooting style and their editing style and make it unique. Mm -hmm. And that's been, so it's kind of a, a half and half deal now. For me personally, like the whole purpose of it was one, marketing, but also two, I've been, always been really horrible at public speaking and i hate talking in front of people and stuff like that like this was a chance for me to like practice that a little bit yeah in kind of a low risk way to like talk to a camera and stuff like that so it was like a way for me to have like a personal development element sure. yeah it's i don't know if it's worth any but <laughs> no, that's, no that's a, that's a good perspective so, do, you, do you intend for clients to watch it or is it just kind of who it's just kind of putting out for whoever yeah so we do have a few of our clients that actually watch it and comment on it when we see them okay but that's kind of where the the need for the shift came in is because it only showed the creative side of what we do mm -hmm. it never really talked about the marketing and the branding and the strategy side of, of what we do sure. and so that's where we kind of started having to reel it back in and and kind of uh give it a little bit of a direction rather than letting the interns determine it every time mm -hmm. because all of our interns are creative people so 
they generally just focus on what we do as a creative company, not as a social media company. That kind of made it so it evolved into what it is now. Hey, what's up, Lug? Um, exciting news, finally got my own drone, uh, personally, to use. I've been flying the one here at the office um, for work stuff, but this will be nice to have for personal use to travel with, and then also just to have an extra drone um, around if we ever need it for anything like that. Um, we had fun the other day flying both the Mavic and the Mavic uh, 2 around. So I'm gonna unbox it here real quick. Oh, there we go, yes. Got also a 128 gigabyte card, because um, I'll probably be shooting a lot of 4K on this. This can also do 4K 60 frames a second, which I think we have a GoPro here. That's the only thing that we have at the office that can actually shoot that rate. Um, otherwise, that's pretty new to the DJ, DJI drones. So, so yeah, I wanted to um, open it up on the vlog here just because it's a fun moment in the life of a creator. We haven't done much of a, a really cool unboxing lately either. So, and this is the hot new drone on the market right now. I mean, they just came out with the Mavic Mini beforehand, which is actually surprisingly really popular. Um, I think it's really popular among people who are uh, new to creating. And honestly, I was looking at it and I almost considered that too because of A, the price and B, um, lots of people love it online. So yeah, this is, like I said, the Mavic Air 2. It's the sequel to the the original Mavic Air, which I know a lot of, I know a couple of people have that and still use that. And I've heard that's a great one too. Another reason why I wanted to get this one was the size of it. Um, it's perfect for traveling. Um, and again, the price. Um, if I had, you know, unlimited resources at my dispense, definitely would have gone with the Mavic Pro 2 just because, you know, pound for pound quality is top notch. Um, having the ability to adjust the aperture on the camera and the image quality is just super invaluable with that. But this is the, the next best thing, I think, in my mind. And, and doing, then doing the research that I did, I think this does just enough of what I want. Love this case. Go. There it is. Wow, this thing is tiny. Yeah, one second. Okay. Let's do a little bit of a of a Mavic lineup here. Ooh. Look at that. Like tiny. And here's the original Mavic Pro for reference. Actually, it's 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 not too far off from this. Actually. Ooh. His footprint really isn't that much smaller when it's opened up. Right. Yeah. Okay, what else we got in this? Um, I guess these are the batteries. This is another big thing too, um, the controller. Um, a lot of you, if you've done your research about drones or you've been following, or if you own a drone, you know the original controllers. Grab those two. So I grabbed the Mavic 1 controller because honestly it's pretty similar to the Mavic 2 Pro, Pro 2 controller. But if you look at this thick boy, this is the new controller. So this thing pops out, and then it's got a nice little cord here that comes with it. I like how this is just a thick, solid brick down here. Um, it feels great in the hands. It's got a return to home button. It's got the tripod, normal, and sport mode on there. It's got the power button, camera button on the back, gimbal up and down. Oh, I think it actually also has a button now to be able to switch from video to photo mode, which is nice. There's the charger, there's the batteries. Extra props, extra props again, manuals and stuff. So let me charge all the batteries at once, or at least have them all set to charge. I think that's really it. That's unboxing the Mavic Air 2. If I ever go out and fly this, I'll, I'll share some of the footage I have with the vlog here. Hopefully you guys can check it out. I'm also planning to possibly do some of my own vlogging with this and kind of my own drone adventures. So we'll see about that sometime soon. There you have it. We are gonna go out. Tristan just got his new uh, drone, as you saw earlier in his unboxing. As with anyone that has a new baby, you always try to take newborn photos. Well, for him, I'm gonna take a picture of his baby with our baby and uh, hopefully get a good shot of him in the background controlling his baby. I'm not sure how that was gonna sound. Was gonna... <laughs> I also couldn't think of a different way to say it either, so yeah, whatever.
we got Tristan over there flying his new baby. We have Noah here flying for the first time, unless he was being serious about sneaking into the office. <laughs> no. I would never do that. First flight. It was great. It's really not much different. You just, just got to get used to the feel of it a little bit. It was really fun. Um, had that same like thrill of when I first like flew a drone kind of um, because it's a little bit different experience because it's it's my drone. It's my baby like Zach was saying. What about your first flight? It was really fun. I enjoyed it. It's so the only ever drone like drones I've flown are like the little toy ones where you have to make hover like otherwise they'll just go straight up or like straight down or something like that. I still had that little bit of fear of like I'm gonna lose it but it was a pretty calm day. The wind's picking up now, but it really wasn't that bad and it definitely kind of makes me want to try it some more. We have this one there too. Yeah, feel free. Like Probably the better one for you to fly. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I know I got lucky on this one. I get to fly the cooler one. Uh, that was a fun little fight. Yeah, that was fun.